All right, folks, I've had the camera off for a while, but I just caught an absolute pig, so I figured I'd show y'all. <sighs> Got a feeling we're gonna have some company on this lake for too long. Just had a couple of guys come by, say they were trying to catch crap. He wanted to know if we wanted their minutes, so they had no luck. And then he saw us both catch slabs. Me and my buddy Jay over there, so yeah, it won't be long now. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the seasons, or at least what we hope is going to be another episode of the season. So, if you're a returning viewer, thanks so much for your support. If you're new to the channel, we're going to go crappie fishing this morning. Hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe. If I look tired, it's because I am. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't lay it up in the bed this morning, but it's Sunday, and you know what that means if you're a working man. Got to go back to work tomorrow. And there's no way I could let the weekend slip by, cold or not, without trying to get after some of these slabs at least one time this weekend. So we're gonna get out here and get after them. Uh, got another buddy and his dad gonna meet me out here at the lake this morning. Uh, I'm assuming we're gonna be able to find fish schooled up. Uh, more than likely, I may be able to come back one more time and catch them before they break up for pre-spawn, but uh, it's about that time of the year. I think it's February the 6th. Uh, it sounds right, yeah. So here around this area in Texas, I probably have, you know, halfway through this month, depending on what the weather does, uh, water temps and such. So hopefully we can get on some slabs. Still hadn't broke that three pound mark here in Texas. I'd love to. I, I think I might get a replica made or get one mounted if I broke the three pound mark here in Texas. It's been years since I caught one over three pounds. Uh, so that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. But, you know, I'm happy with some two and a half pounders, two pounders, or just really any crappie. Uh, tickles my fancy, so. Uh, I don't know what subject we're gonna get in today, what we're gonna talk about, but I'm sure it'll be entertaining. So stick with us, guys. Well, guys, I've just been sitting here talking to you like a dumbass without the camera on, but yeah, there's number two. I'll go through my setup again when I get set up here. Uh, that squeaky crap's got to stop. And these gloves have got to go. It's warming up pretty nice pretty quick. I need to get my clicker out. But we're on fish right now, so we're going to try to catch them. If they don't spook. All right, let's make sure I'm recording this time before we do anything stupid. Dang, they already tore up my bait. Two fish. Oh, yeah. All right, folks. Hope this is operating right and you can see it. As I was previously stating. That's a pretty good looking fish right there out front. Okay, let's try this again. I am using an eighth ounce peg weight with an eight, eighth ounce head, Bobby Gall and black and uh, chartreuse slab, slab slayer, 13 foot B&M stick, super stick actually. And I'm trying out the uh, sniping braid for the first time. He likes it. Well, they are hungry this morning, folks. Hungry this morning. I tell you what, it doesn't get much further than that. Quite the drive, quite worth it. Man, look at the size of that stinking slab right there, though. Love it when the plan comes together. Ooh, wow. That's the next two pounder of the morning. Two pounder, number two. No way he was coming off in the history of 1990, never. Oh, I might have to get my pliers out, I guess. That sucks. That's what's tough when you're by yourself. Trying to stay on the fish, folks. Stay on the fish. But wow. What a stud. That's what you want to see when they're clumped up like that in the oval instead of swimming more or less in a 
direction. I have to say, so far, this sniping braid is pretty smooth, but my, here he comes. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, folks. That's a good one. That's what we come out here for. All right, so I'm going to walk you through what I'm doing here. I have to pay attention to keeping this fish on the hook, staying with this school right here, and landing this freaking toad. Good God. Maybe I should weigh that fish. Holy crap. We'll weigh some at the end. Jeez. What a freaking giant. See, these fish have already pulled a hoodoo on me. God, God, what a giant fish. Okay. In the live well you go, buttero. A giant. Now that's fun. That's fun. I don't care who you are. If I get some time then I'm gonna talk to y'all about my settings. You know, from the new update. Some people don't like it, some people do. I think it's all about finding the happy medium. There's some tanks in there, bud. Yeah, bud. Oh, they pull see they'll stop on you, and that screws you when you catch one when they stop like that right on the boat. He got it. Come in here, y'all. Just another nice one. See that? I don't know if y'all can see him. Busting up and hauling tail. We'll get him again. The fish are getting it right where you want them to. Top of the mouth top of the mouth okay now the chase is on to refind our fish here have to say that braid is smooth I like it I don't know how many times I'm going to say that enough I guess Oh. He come back and got it. Entertainment there, friends. He wanted it. He wanted it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get in there, fat boy. Okay, where did those other ones go? Am I still recording? Do I know where my face is at? Right there, we're gonna chase those. Let's see, let's see. Looks like we're recording. It says we are. Apparently my buddy and them Jay and his dad are on them too. My adoptive father, another nice one. Numero six. <sighs> he come and got it. Wow. Freaking tank too, son. Yeah, watch this. Watch this. Here's something for the B&M commercial. Golly. Good. Gracious. Alive. Good. Gracious. Alive. Ready? I don't think I did. What a freaking stud. What a giant. We don't have time to enjoy it though, folks. 
All right, if you don't know what kind of knot I like to tie, I like to tie a loop knot, which doesn't work well in imperfect jig heads. What I mean by imperfect, if there's a gap in the eye, then that braid's gonna find it and it's gonna come out. So. No time for a drink or something. I think I left my Dr. Pepper in the truck. Let's see here. Am I coming down? Am I coming down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I got him. I got him. School spooked. Oh, it feels like a good one. I'll oh, just another little dandy. Just another little dandy. Well, what the hell? There's a number of the idea of fish we're looking at, folks. Schools on schools on schools. <sighs> Sometimes it's hard to really get it dialed in, like, not get it dialed in. It's hard to. Pick what you're gonna throw at, you know? It's like trying to shoot a, a whole bunch of doves. Shoot at a whole bunch of doves instead of uh, just a single. Boy, he nailed it when it come in. Freaking good one too. Another giant. Just another big old good one. These fish are coming kind of at me at an angle, which is cool. But you only get a short amount of pitch at the fish that are coming at you, but they will see the bait. Oh. Joker come up and hit my split shot, feels like. He feels like a good one, though. Come on up out of there. Maybe he's just a fighter. No, he's a good one. Look at that freaking toad. Just an absolute hammer in the bottom of the lip. Okay, so we're not going to boat flit him then. Oh, boy. Nope. That's, yeah, look at that. Right out. And that's why we did that. What a freaking stud. All right, folks. That's what we're after out here today. Absolute pigs. <clears throat> That's the fun of coming and getting in the cold. I know my Yankee brothers be like cold, but hey, it's cold down here, right? He come and got it. Oh, boy, a good one too. He's never been hooked before. He's done been hooked before. Look at that. That's weird looking. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Huh. Still a freaking pig though. Two pounder. Yes, sir. Click the button. I know I got a mess in front of my boat, boat folks. I always do. Let the rough end drag around here, boys and girls. It's just the way it is.
come and got it. Oh yeah, he did. He is a mad son of a gun too. Doing circles down there. Oh yeah, he drilled it. What a freaking toad. What a freaking toad. That's what you want to see. Oh, come here. Come here, big boy. Stay in the boat. Sow. Cow. Baby. I don't know where my scale is. I need to find it, though. I got some weighing to do today. That fish there is 2.5 four probably there he is oh boy oh that's a tank that's a tank. All right, another giant, folks. All right, guys. Well, I told y'all we were on a hunt for a East Texas three pounder. Uh, I got real close, two point eight two. Unfortunately, my uh, brother from another mother, mother <laughs> ended up with a three pounder a true east texas three pounder 3.02 pounds slinger's first one and a true giant we are stoked about it timmy t was on fish jason was on fish i was on fish and here's the end result a lot of 2.5 pluses in there Stay tuned for the next episode.